AEG Steam Oven. Hi, my name is Vicente Amaral and I'm pleased to be testing this AEG Maxi Classic Pro Combi Steam Oven. The tests of London chefs have prepared three delicious and very easy to prepare recipes for me to follow. Today we are cooking steamed salmon fillet with fennel salad and dill dressing. For the salmon we have this wonderful fillet, we have shallots, olive oil, dill and also some dry wine. For the garnish we are going to use fennel, orange, parsley, olive oil and some salt and pepper. And finally for the vinaigrette we are going to use some dill, olive oil and vinegar. So first we're gonna preheat the oven. So we go here on the presettings. It's the first one actually. We have full steam at 96 degrees. We click OK and there goes the oven on. Here this little bar shows us um, when the oven is gonna be ready. So first of all as we are steaming we are going to add the water into the oven Let's see how it goes. How much you're adding there? It's uh, 400 ml. Okay. That's what it's asking. So let's see how it goes. Oops. Okay. That's what it said in the user guide. Yeah. Okay, we're going to start with uh, the salmon. There we go. We have okay. three pieces. And we're going to season with some salt and pepper. Salt and then yeah. pepper. Put it over. Okay. And since the oven is ready, let's okay. get cooking. The oven is ready. Need full steam going on. Let's be Whoa. careful. All that is steaming. That's going into the fish. Close it quickly. And there it goes again. Full steaming. Gorgeous. Now we're doing the salad. Next, we're moving to the salad. So we're going to set the orange. That's it. Yeah. We just found out that the, the oven is like a little baby. When it wants more to drink, it screams. Well, it doesn't scream, it beeps. And that's the salmon in there. I don't know if you can see it. So it's actually looking really good. I so here we move um, the fennel with salt and pepper, with seasoning. And we're moving on to the vinaigrette. We're going to save some of these um, pieces of orange. For what? For the garnish. For the garnish. The fish is ready now. Whoa! Oh, wow, look at that. Be careful with the steam. Look at that. Let's have a look at that. that well, great. it's kind of steamy. You can't really see it here in the camera. Okay. We're Let's gonna plate it up. One plate. Out go. Place these on top. Mm, that looks delicious. Look at that. Wow. Okay. We're ready to taste the salmon. Let's see how it came out. Wow! Look at that. Just cooked. Perfection, we have some of the garnish. Mmm. Mmm. You gotta try that. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Of the orange. Oh, that is delicious. That is really good. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Last shot of the oven. Wow. Lovely. Hi, this is Richard, and I'm doing the preparation for the twice cooked chicken and sh shiitake mushroom gyoza dumplings. Um, we have uh, spring onions here, garlic, uh, of course ginger, um, sesame oil, uh, minced chicken. Um, I was unable to get the dried shiitake mushrooms there. They don't have them in my, in my area, but um, I will just use the fresh ones that they had. Luckily, they had them at the supermarket. Um, I will take out the stem though because the stem is supposed to be bitter. And I'll just chop all that up, mix it together and cover it and put it in the fridge and um, let it sit for a while. Okay, I'm going to check on the pasta that I've been trying to dry. Um, it's been in there for about an, well, a little bit more than an hour, an hour and a few minutes. So let's check it out. Door. Wow, look at that. All dry. That's great. Oh wow, it's really good. So, it's great. I don't waste anything. It's dried. Um, I guess I'll just close the door, turn off the oven, uh, let it cool a little bit, and then um, put it away. Okay, so Vicente's home from work now, 
And since I did all the prep for the for the dishes, he's actually filling filling them. What do you call these in Argentina, Vicente? Empanadas. Empanadas, yeah. Um, we actually made um, two different varieties. We made one, which is of course the actual recipe, which is the chicken and the and okay. Quite another one. And then uh, I made just to, because we're making them. I just made a, 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 I put together some uh, prawns, uh, spring onion, uh, cilantro. I'm sorry, um, coriander and spring on just spring onions. Yeah. Ginger and garlic and egg white. Okay, so here we have the twice cooked chicken and shiitake mushroom gyoza dumplings dash pot stickers. Okay. Yeah, baby. They look good. Now we're fine. Now you're fine. So, let's see. Here we see. go. Let's try them. This one. Here, do you have the, um, the dipping sauce? Yes, the dipping what sauces. Well, one is the dipping sauce that um, is on the recipe, and then there's an extra one I made that's very spicy with um, ginger mm. and coriander. Oh, my God. That's delicious. Is it very good? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to stop shooting, I mean filming, and I'm going to eat. Okay. You're gonna clean it now, right? Yeah. What name was it? Um. Just wait for the, the I don't know the numbers. That one. It. Yeah, that's it. Okay. It's 96 and degrees. That's exactly what it says on the manual. You just push it, and and, and you put water. Um. Water and vinegar. Three tablespoons to uh, the vinegar. So anyway. Okay. Let's see what time. Here we are, just about 19 minutes into cooking, and I'm so impressed with this oven. It cooks so quickly and, and evenly, um, as like, compared to my old oven. Um, he's already doing um, pretty well in there. It's great. Okay, so here we have Mr. Chicken. He's totally done and looking lovely. So I will let him cool down and cut him up. I'm going to make the steamed artichoke with poached duck egg and mustard vinaigrette. So here are our ingredients. We've got some artichokes, lemons, nice green lemon, which I love, white wine vinegar. I have some unscented um, oil, some shallots, and of course we have duck eggs. So let's get cracking. Okay, so here we have our artichokes about to start steaming. And there they go. Okay, the artichokes are steaming away nicely and Oh, I wish you could smell how wonderful they smell with the lemon that is tied underneath. Really wonderful. So here you have the ingredients for the mustard vinaigrette. It's two teaspoons of English mustard, a tablespoon of white wine vinegar, five tablespoons of water, a pinch of sea salt, a pinch of white uh, ground pepper, and one small shallot minced, chopped up, finely chopped. So let's see. Let's have a taste of a uh, taste of this. Oh. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, so meanwhile we have our artichokes and they're doing their thing. And they're looking pretty good too. I'm just, just for fun, I'm going to try to, to uh, poach these eggs in little, uh, I just put some, the eggs in cling film. And I'm just going to turn on the steam oven just to um, experiment and to see uh, what happens. Okay, I don't know if you can see them, but the eggs are poached wonderfully in there, so they're done. I'm going to take them out now. Okay, so here's the finished product, and well, obviously it leaves a whole lot to be desired presentation-wise. Like that, I don't think it looks wonderful at all, but it's going to taste wonderful, that's for sure. Okay, over and out. Okay, I'm testing out roasting um, top side of beef. I have it on the preset for beef, and also I have the. Um, uh, the internal core temperature me measurement thingy in there. Okay, here it is, the internal temperature now of the meat is 69, and I think that we're going to just turn it off now because it will continue to cook, but it looks great. And we threw some uh, small baby p new potatoes in there. Okay, here's a little variation on um, the other chicken I made before. I've just decided to brine this chicken in um, a liter of apple juice, a liter of water, and a half a cup of uh, salt. Okay, now I've cut this bad boy in half, and I washed off the brine, and I'm going to put him outside on the barbecue, but I'm not going to uh, grill it on the barbecue, I'm just going to smoke it, because I don't feel like standing outside <coughs> and watching over it and having to tend to it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to finish it off in um, the AEG oven, okay. Okay, so it's in the oven now, and we will check on it 
in, in a little bit. Okay, so here we are. We're actually one hour into cooking. Well, it's been, I think it's been cooked a while ago, but I like mine falling off the bone, so. Oh, got, what is that? There you go. Is that um, bacon? Yes. Wow. Well, sort of. That looks wonderful. There you go. I can't wait to eat it. Okay. Okay, here's the cheesecake um, in the oven. Now, what you usually do with the cheesecake is the, um, you cook it for one hour and you put a pan of water under there. Well, since we have a steam oven, we don't need to do that. So, what setting I chose, and I hope it's the right setting, is um, setting number two, half steam and heat. Um, and I'm going to cook that at 120 for um, an hour. Okay, so there's the uh, finished cheesecake. It looks okay. Um, I left it in the um, the oven for an hour after I turned it off, after it finished cooking for an hour and ten minutes, um, just so that it would still cook a little bit and it didn't get any cracks in the center. And luckily, there's no crack in the center, so hopefully it's, I did a good job. Okay, this is uh, just a simple stew for dinner, but it's a good opportunity for me to use the uh, slow cook uh, option, which is uh, number eight. Okay, so here you have the the beef stew cooking very nicely after about two hours. I'm going to add some onions and more mushrooms now. So, but anyway, this is a wonderful oven. I really, really love it. And I will recommend it to everyone. Well, anyone asks me about ovens, that is. <laughs>